There are many red flags to provide warnings when buying shares but one that even the most unsophisticated investor can watch out for is a company's directors or senior management selling shares. They are the real insiders. There is a close correlation between those at the top of a company selling stock and subsequent underperformance of the share price. Some handy research by stockbroking firm Wilson's found that in 2016, of the companies whose management sold large parcels of shares, 76% of them underperformed the market after the sale. On average their share prices fell by a massive 14%. Who better than those running a company to know its prospects and when the share price is fully or even overvalued? Equally who better to know if the company has positive prospects and it's a good time to buy additional shares? However the author of the Wilson's research Nathan Seitler said the correlation between an executive buying and the gain in share price was not nearly as strong. The good news is that directors slash senior executives are obliged to inform the stock exchange when they buy or sell shares and by issuing a 3Y notice. So it's a bit of corporate intelligence that any investor can tap into. Savvy investors keep a very close monitor on when director slash executives sell shares in the companies that employ them. Wilson Asset Management's Chris Stott noted that because of their unique position, when they, directors or executives, sell, It can be tantamount to a vote of no confidence in the business. As such, we are generally skeptical when directors sell, as it can signal a negative outlook for the company. This is particularly the case when a director substantially reduces their holding, or more than one board member sells simultaneously, or within a short time frame. Seitler found that selling from directors did have as big an effect on share price movements as selling from the chief executive or finance director. Another indicator is the size of the parcel sold. The more shares sold by an executive the more likely the price was to fall. Based on these findings we would highlight the value of staying abreast of any cash ordinary transactions, especially sales, from management greater than $50,000 in value, the Wilson's note concluded. In an update on executive and director share selling which is soon to be released, Seitler found a lesser incidence this year which he believes reflects a recognition from executives of the fallout from 2016. There were a number of extreme cases in 2016, the largest of which was Bramble's then chief executive, Tom Gorman who caused a stir when he sold his entire stake in the company for between $12.79 and $12.97 following a positive update on its prospects while delivering the full year result. The company affirmed the guidance a few months later and again in November that year. But in January and February 2017 it issued two profit downgrades and the share price tanked. It's trading today at $9.78. Since then there has been talk of a class action being mounted against Brambles alleging that shareholders were not keep informed, although it is understood there is no reference to Gorman selling his stock. He announced his retirement in August last year and left in February.